For decades, scientists have been fascinated with the idea of developing aircrafts that can travel at the speed of light so that some of the most fundamental questions of human existence can be answered. How did we come to be? What lies out there in the vast open with this next NASA creation? Join us as we explore how NASA just admitted they've created something so advanced it can reach light speed. First up, what exactly is light speed? As its name suggests, light speed is the speed at which light travels through a vacuum. It's approximately 671 million miles per hour. You cannot imagine how fast that actually is. It's the fastest speed at which anything can travel and is the fundamental constant of nature. According to the laws of physics, only electromagnetic waves such as light, radio waves, and gamma rays can travel at the speed of light in a vacuum. These waves are known as massless particles, which means they have no rest mass and can reach the speed of light. These waves can travel through a vacuum such as space without any resistance or interference. Particles with rest mass such as protons, electrons, and atoms can never reach the speed of light. Even though they can be accelerated to very high speeds, they will always be traveling slower than the speed of light in a vacuum. Because of its incredibly high speed, light is often used as a reference point for other velocities in physics. For example, the speed of an object traveling through space is often measured in terms of how fast it is moving relative to the speed of light. The speed of light is the maximum speed at which energy, matter, and information can travel in the universe, and it is a fundamental constant of nature. According to the theory of relativity, the speed of light is a fundamental constant of nature, as it is the fastest speed at which energy, matter, and information can travel in the universe. However, as an object approaches the speed of light, its mass increases and an infinite amount of energy is required to accelerate it to the speed of light. Even the fastest man-made spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, which was launched in 2018, is only able to reach speeds of up to 430,000 miles per hour, which is a tiny fraction of the speed of light. In the past, NASA has focused its efforts on developing spacecrafts that can travel at high speeds within our solar system, such as the Parker Solar Probe and the New Horizons spacecraft, which have reached high speeds by taking advantage of gravity resistance from planets to increase their speed. Additionally, NASA has conducted research on various theories of physics and cosmology, such as the possibility of wormholes or other shortcuts through space-time that might one day allow for faster-than-light travel. This research is pushing the limits of physics and attempting to achieve what was once thought to be impossible. According to the theory of relativity, the speed of light is a fundamental constant of nature, as it is the fastest speed at which energy, matter, and information can travel in the universe. However, as an object approaches the speed of light, its mass increases and an infinite amount of energy is required to accelerate it to the speed of light. In 2012, during Dr. Harold Sonny White's presentation to NASA for the research on developing advanced propulsion technologies for space travel, NASA developed the Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory also known as the Eagle Works Laboratories. The laboratory's primary focus is on developing advanced propulsion technologies for space travel, including those that could potentially allow for faster-than-light travel. The lab conducts research on a variety of topics, including the study of the behavior of matter and energy in extreme environments, the testing of advanced propulsion systems, and the development of new technologies for space exploration. The lab also conducts research on physics theories, such as the possibility of wormholes or other space-time shortcuts that could one day enable faster-than-light travel. It is led by Dr. Harold White and his team, who are investigating the feasibility of these ideas. In the past, the research conducted by the Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory may not have had immediate practical applications, but 
it was still significant because it addressed questions that other scientists had not yet considered. The laboratory's goal was to develop propulsion technologies that would enable human exploration of the solar system in the next 50 years. The initial prediction for the amount of energy required for faster-than-light travel was incredibly high, estimated to be a billion times the total energy in the universe. However, over time, scientists have been able to reduce this estimate to roughly the mass of Jupiter. Dr. White's proposal was to design a warp that could potentially reach the star Alpha Centauri within a few weeks at a cost similar to that of a car. He pitched the idea to NASA and was given a space at the Johnson Space Center to start the Eagle Works laboratories. Since then, the laboratory has been focused on three main projects, validating a time warp field, generating thrust by manipulating quantum particles in a vacuum, and testing several resonant cavity thrusters. Though there have been some promising results from these tests, more research is needed in the future. The laboratory quickly rebuilt an instrument called the White Dude, a warp field interferometer, to measure the very small changes in space-time that will be required for this technology. While positive results were being achieved, it was unclear how this technology could be scaled up to propel a spacecraft. Dr. White even created a concept art of a ship that could potentially utilize this technology, called the IXS Enterprise, featuring wings that would create the warp bubble. While Dr. White did pave the way for future scientists to make future discoveries that could allow NASA to develop an aircraft that would travel at the speed of light, NASA engineer David Burns was next in line to further this research. He proposed a new concept for an engine based on an electric motor that can travel at the speed of light without the use of any propellant. The EM drive or electromagnetic drive, a proposed propulsion system that would generate thrust without the need of any external fuel source. The idea was first proposed by Roger Shoya in 2001, and it is based on the concept of using microwaves to create thrust. The EM drive has been considered a violation of the law of conservation of momentum and other physical principles, and it is often referred to as the impossible drive by the media. However, recent scientific studies have shown that the EM drive can create thrust, although the reason for this is still not understood. Based on this concept, Burns has come up with his helical engine, using a combination of high-tech particle accelerators such as those found in the Large Hadron Collider and taking advantage of the way mass changes while traveling at the speed of light. The engine of light, also known as Burns Helical Engine, has the potential to travel at 297 million meters per second. Burns explained his theory using the metaphor of a weight inside a box threaded on a line with springs at either end there's a significant possibility that the helical engine could revolutionize the way we travel through space, as it will cut the amount of time it takes to travel between planets and even galaxies in half. Martin Tajma, a researcher at the Dresden University of Technology in Germany, has performed tests on the EM and came to the conclusion that if a spacecraft were to travel at the speed of light, time on board would appear to move much more slowly. Time on Earth moves more slowly. This could cause major problems for the crew, such as aging at a slower rate than the rest of the universe. This concept has been explored in the hit movie Interstellar, as has the impossibility of detecting obstacles while traveling at high speeds. The speed of light would make it impossible to detect obstacles in space such as planets, stars, and other celestial bodies, which could lead to catastrophic collisions. If these recent developments are successful in creating vehicles that can travel at the speed of light, it would open a vast array of possibilities for scientific exploration and discovery. It could equip astronauts with the ability to travel at the speed of light, Scientists could explore distant galaxies and study the formation and evolution of stars and planets.
It is important to remember that aerospace technology is constantly advancing and it is not impossible that a faster than light engine may be developed in the future. There was a time when we used to believe that it was impossible to develop airplanes and look at us now. It's certainly possible that an aircraft that travels at the speed of light will be built soon. The only question is when. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.